In this set of slides, we explain how to calculate the slope of a line and the slope of a curve. So in this presentation, we will calculate the slope of a curve. So here we have a diagram that shows the relationship between the interest rate and investment. If we compare point A and point B, we can see that when the interest rate decreases from 10 on the vertical axis to 8 on the vertical axis, investment increases from 10 to 27. So we're going to use the same formula to calculate the slope of the line or the slope of the curve. The difference in value on the vertical axis divided by the difference in value on the horizontal axis. So we're going to use point A and point B. To calculate the difference in value on the vertical axis, it is the interest rate decreases from 10 to 8. So the difference between in the interest rate between points A and point B is minus 2. So you take the value at B minus the value at A, 10, gives us minus 2. Step 3, we then calculate the difference in value on the horizontal axis. So at point A, investment on the horizontal axis is 10 million and at point B, investment is 27 million. So it increases by 17 million. So the value at B minus the value at A gives us the difference between A and B. It increases by 17 million. So now step 4 is to use the formula. So it is the difference in value on the vertical axis minus 2 divided by the difference in value on the horizontal axis 17 and that gives us 2 minus 2 divided by 17 is equal to minus 0, 0,118. So the slope of the line between points A and point B is minus 0, 0,118. So why is this value negative? It indicates the negative relationship between the interest rate and investment. When the interest rate decreases, investment increases. So now we want you to calculate the slope of the curve between point B and point C. Please stop this video here and then continue to see how we can do this. So we're going to use the same formula. We're calculating the slope of the curve between point B and point C. So the cal to calculate the difference in value on the vertical axis, we take the value at point C, the interest rate, which was 6, minus the value at point B, which was 8. So we can see from point B to point C, interest rate decreased by 2. That's why it's minus 2. Now the difference in value on the horizontal axis, you can see that investment increased from 27 to 35. So the difference between the two points is value at C, 35 million, minus value of investment at B, 27 million. So the difference is 8 million. And then step 4 to calculate the slope, it is the minus 2, which is the difference in value on the vertical axis, divided by the difference in value on the horizontal axis, which is 8 million. So minus 2 divided by 8 gives us minus 0, 0,25. So between points B and C, the slope of the line is minus 0,25. So you can see between B and C the curve is steeper 
than between points A and point B and therefore the value of the slope between points B and C is larger than the value of the slope between points A and B. So as you can see, the slope of a curve changes as you move along the curve. 